on. Hey there, how's it going, everybody? Uh, we're here with Katrina. It's, it feels like a Friday night, but it's only a Thursday night. Um, what's going on? How's it going? All right, how are you? I am good. I've been working. Uh, I've been going to the dump and cleaning out a moldy basement and wearing protection, um, wearing like a shield, a mask, long sleeves, pants, throwing away my clothes, legitimately like uh, paying attention and it's helpful uh, as I don't have as many skin irritations, but um, yeah, I am cleaning out. If you've ever seen like the show Hoarders or anything, you ever seen the Hoarders episodes? Hoarders? A little bit. I watched one where there was a woman who destroyed a house and there were like dead rats living underneath all of the waste that she had all over everywhere. Yeah. The house would become that if, uh, you know, with, with the, with the patient who's living in it, um, without intervention and, oh my God, like it is just, it is unbelievable. So I've been cleaning out everything. I've been making progress, but it's exhausting. So anyway, um, but at the end of the day, I wanted to talk some baseball because I noticed some, some good things happening in the algorithm. Yeah. So, uh, what's going on Katrina in Vegas? Did you make some bets today? Did you? Yeah, I did. Um, I did. I try to, I try to, I'm still trying to see how to do it. Like, so that I cover, you know, like I, I don't do the, 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 just the parlay that you do. So like, I try to do like little ones that, that also like are for sure ones. So like, I try to, you know, cover in case my parlay completely loses. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many but, teams do you do? So, um, I, I do seven, you know, but, you, but you're not going to hit every day. You can redistribute the seven though. Um, so that you, uh, make more money if you go five and two, which it looks like, uh, one of them is going to go today. Um, but, uh, but yeah, if you do like three, three or four, uh, th that'll work as well. Mm -hmm. What's interesting on the day is, um, I'm sure that San Diego is, is crushing you right now. I would imagine that's a big problem. Yeah, <laughs> they're losing because they're the number three on here. I'm looking at the the uh, the what it spits out, and it you know it says Dodgers, Seattle, Baltimore is an underdog. Miami, Atlanta, Yankees, Yankees come back somehow in the ninth and win, down three runs. Minnesota, it's gonna be six of the top. It's gonna be seven of the top eight, even if San Diego loses. But if San Diego loses, it's on every round robin. That's what's terrible. Yeah. Um, so hopefully they can come back, but I don't think they're going to come back actually because looking at the projections, it's not good because their lineup factor got reduced when they confirmed lineups down to a 2.7. And they're supposed to only get to five runs anyway, so they're still supposed to lose six to five even if they come back in this game. So this is sad. Um, but what, well, what did you bet? Um, like, you know, basically, do you have an idea of kind of roundabout what teams you bet and how you, uh, how you went about doing it? Uh, yeah. So, um, I, okay. So <laughs> one of them was a six team one. The Cardinals lost. Um, yeah. Yeah. Cardinals. Yeah, Yankees, Mariners, Orioles, Twins, and then just waiting on the Padres. But I only, I, I did, I really didn't know what was going to win on there because, like, there were a couple of underdogs on here, and one of them lost. So I only did like twos for that one. <laughs> so that's yes. like I was. <laughs> yeah, St. Louis lost. Chicago should have, you should have known to stay away from Chicago. Oh, I didn't put them on there, but. Uh -huh. The over in the Cubs game was very, very predictable. If you looked at the Google sheet, uh -huh. um, the over in that game, that was supposed to be a 12 run game already because there was 10 mile power wins out in Pittsburgh. That actually was really obvious. And they got to 15 runs in that game. So unfortunately I bet the over in the Colorado Miami game on my ticket, I should have done it in the Chicago Cubs Pittsburgh game. And that was obvious 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 because the pitching was just weird and awful all over the place and the weather was good for that so that was actually what to do there because that was a tough pick to who to see who would win the cubs lost but they're way down on this list the, the the algorithm did a lot of great 
things today. I mean, hopefully San Diego comes back, but they're probably not going to, but still, this is really good. To have Baltimore win 4 nothing when we said that was going to be a low-scoring game that the underdog wins at plus 136, that is crushing the odds makers. That is a destruction bet right there. I won everything I, re- I bet related to the Orioles in this game, betting the under and betting Baltimore to win and betting low, low runs everywhere, like perfect. They actually hit their run projection after confirm. But this, this was a really, really good day, and hopefully San Diego does something magical. But um, <laughs> if you didn't win money on today, you really didn't bet the algorithm properly or you bet it at the wrong time of the day. So, I mean, you, you hit one parlay, right? You hit the Yankees, C- Baltimore, Seattle, right? Oh. Uh, That's what you said at the beginning of the call, I think, in the middle of the call. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, Yankees. Yeah, that, that one was a 16 one. Um, minus the Cardinals. Well, I, I mean, obviously I'm going to hit it because I didn't um, – do like a five out of six or anything and this is like two out of six because i wasn't sure so i'm confused how many teams did you have oh. on your round on your round robin parlay three or five or six or how many that's that's one parlay and it had uh six teams oh, um, you didn't just have three in seattle baltimore yankees you didn't have just that no i have i have three more so i have the cards padres twins so four of those won already but i will be you know, did. Yeah. Just Ellie Seattle, did. Baltimore Yankees paid 6.5 to one as a parlay. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm running this on the screen right now. Yeah. So th- let me, see, this is why I said the algorithm had an, an excellent day is if you look at what I say is usually the top, well, if you look at every team, that's over 10% margin, first of all, which, which, I, which actually includes Baltimore at the end of this list, you have four teams, you only are losing San Diego, but they might not lose, but they, they are losing right now. If you do something like an even 14 round Robin, if you don't want to lose a lot of money, you still made 50% on your wager going three and one on this. This is why I'm saying it's a very good day. Cause some people who use the algorithm that they get from me, they, they make larger bets on, on the games up top. And they would have won with any covering with the Dodgers. Dodgers covered one and a half, two and a half, three and a half. Dodgers covered all that. Dodgers went over and runs. Dodgers won. Like everything the algorithm said about the Dodgers happened. Seattle won. They didn't cover, but we didn't say they were going to cover. The algorithm said they were only going to win by one, but it said it was a great pick. It's amazing. It's amazing how awesome the algorithm is. Just this is unbelievable that it yeah. does this. Even though it got the score wrong by four runs, it understood that this was an extremely close game that Oakland's going to blow somehow. And it's exactly what happened. It's amazing. <laughs> and look what loses the stuff at the bottom. And, and I was thinking about, well, you know, how do we change this? We can look at the comparison in these games and you can say, all right, well, the St. Louis game against Milwaukee here. Well, why did we lose this game? St. Louis couldn't pull it together. Well, their lineup factor was a little lower and their bullpen pack factor was a little worse and they only had a 3% margin. So watch this. If you up the lineup factor to 40, up the bullpen factor to 15, all of a sudden they're still at a 3% margin. Um, what else we got? Uh, uh, regular ERA, we could up that. We could reduce this even more with the whip. Now we're down to 2%. Bring this down to 13. Streaks, not so much. Uh, That's about all we can do. It still wants to favor St. Louis other than that they are at home, but that moves San Diego down a little bit. Point is you can change stuff on the fly looking at games to figure out how, how do we make this distribution even better? Cause uh, this is pretty awesome. Regardless, this is pretty awesome right here. Yeah. It just, it just is like, because we're beating the odds makers hands down by putting an underdog up here. We're also getting these teams looking almost nobody's covering, but everything's in order. 
and we'll see what happens with San Diego, which is still going. So anyway, sorry, I cut you off originally. So what else did you bet on that six team round robin, I guess? <laughs> uh, so I put, I, I already said it like twice. <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm blowing through it. My bad. Yeah, no. Yeah, you must have not gotten sleep last night or something. <laughs> oh, so, <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so I had cards, Yankees, Mariners, Orioles, Padres, Twins. So only two of those are potentially going to lose. Um, but I did do another parlay of five teams, which uh, only the Padres, everything won, but the Padres potentially who else was on that? Uh, this was Dodgers, Mariners, Yankees, Orioles, Padres. Yankees as well. Okay. Um, yeah, Yankees really pulled one out of out of the hat to do that. That's amazing. Um, so maybe the Padres can do the same. Otherwise, you're gonna still probably win, win money on that round robin because you're gonna go four and one. Probably. Well, I did three. I did threes on that. And then for the yeah. big parlay, it was because I was like, there's too many underdogs on here. I just was like, not sure who's going to, you know, even the ones that are not underdogs, like sometimes lose. So I was like, I don't things feel are, things are not looking good for the Padres. Um, all right. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, I don't know. This is a pretty good day. You should end up, you should end up winning some money overall only missing essentially the Padres is betting St. Louis, not betting the over. Um, the, the picks that I made here. Oh yeah. Your uh, parlay, really. Yeah. My parlays are going to, they're, they're right here and they're right here. San Diego, I need them to get some runs. So right now, if they don't get runs, then this is mm. almost everything. And here I already have the planning them not covering one and a half. This loses one penny somehow. That's funny. Um, <laughs> one penny because I, my distribution was really high end distribution. If it doesn't go six and one or better, it's not making money. I you can change this. I, I mean, I'm very greedy in my distribution. You can do stuff like um, you can do a whole bunch of different things that you'll see that actually make money. Uh, here's a $11 bet. What about get up to 25 by doing something like this? Yeah, exactly. Yep. Or point How much is it? So what this does is uh, here, this is a $25 bet where you'd actually have made money going five and two on this instead of losing like I did. Um, but you only would have made four you know, 12 bucks, but you would have made half your money. So this is a way, this was actually a good ticket, even though the way I bet it was terribly, very skewed here toward just winning a lot. And then this is not over yet though. San Diego might hit over four runs also this one. Right. So we'll see. I don't, I don't have faith in them looking at what their lineup factor says right now. Um, but I bet that a long time ago. Anyway, there's, there's so much going on, but this this is a very good day for the algorithm, regardless. Yep. Um, I mean, just taking winners up top, you really should have gone set six and one. I didn't take, I mean, this is so sad. Like, this is just, look at stupid over right here. Everything else is, is a winner or a winning type pick. Um, and even this is bad at minus one and a half. It should just be the Padres to win at minus 167 is really what it should be. And here it should have been Miami at minus 120 or 125. And that would have won. And you could have had something like this and made four to one on your money really easily. This is pretty obvious out of the algorithm too. So I, I, get, I don't try to worry about it too much because it's like, um, oh, it's, 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 it's a game, but at the same time, like it's, I want to read it properly so I make the proper bets and don't have to say what it could have, should have based on what the algorithm said or whatever. It's fun too. You know, it's, it's okay. Yeah. So, all right, what else is going on? Um, any other fun stuff happening in Vegas? <laughs> no, 
No, just work right now. Um, lots of work. Uh, but uh, it is uh, the start of the weekend, so I don't know. We'll see. But it's uh, I just I just realized it's like already like towards the edge of June, and it's like been hot for a while. And so I mean, it's the summer is blowing through. You know, it's like it's gonna be it's gonna be over soon, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> for summer in Vegas. You know, the summer goes till uh, Christmas in Vegas. Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, it's June 23rd. It's like, yeah, I think the uh, the summer equinox was on the 21st. I looked it up the other day. So it's like, when's the, the sunniest day of the year? Um, and uh, wow. so that's happening. So yeah, we are now, we, we're in summer, right? Has summer happened? If it hasn't happened, it should have. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I'm getting the itch to start going out west. So that's going to happen soon. I can feel it. Okay few weeks coming yeah your derby shirt on yeah i do i i, I not only did <laughs> i plan that um i also have uh, i think this this screen is sharing i have the video from the derby when we were there <laughs> um this is me videotaping uh yeah when we were there i don't think i actually have you or if i do it's just like me glancing with the with the phone yeah um but that was fun times that yeah. this, was, this was like the first big event like post there there's terrible hats and all these clothes where are you must be somewhere there I lost you there but <laughs> yeah um that was good times that was fun yep yeah that was fun <laughs> mm -hmm. so yeah all right well um you got anything to say to anybody? I think we should wrap up with this long video reviewing what, <laughs> uh, Friday. The games don't start until like six o'clock or something. So I'm not going to do a video until much later in the day when lineups are confirmed. Sorry for everybody who wants it earlier. Send me money if you want it earlier. I'll send you an Excel file. Other than that, I'm taking a break. I got a million other things I'm in the middle of doing, including writing stuff to dump, getting car fixed, doing a bunch of stuff. So, um, yeah busy yeah basically algorithms having a good day and yeah, yes, the algorithms had a good day and also um i don't need to do much with the distribution because as you can see it did the right things and san diego is just clearly not not having a good night but everything else did everything else did in order um this game predicted a lot of runs and it happened the uh the Baltimore game predicted not a lot of runs in Baltimore winning. This, this is what makes today awesome, is the underdog way up here winning outright and shutting out White Sox because of Dean Kramer's 2022 stats, which are limited, but they're good. And that is what happened right here, and it did it right. I mean, they hit their exact target in runs of four runs. Like it's, yeah. that's just flat out crushing it. So hopefully San Diego comes back, but you know, cross your fingers on that. So, all right. Well, good luck. I'll, I'll talk to you later. We'll talk tomorrow. Maybe perhaps. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. All right. Good luck. Go, go Padres. Woo.